Good morning. Welcome to tutorial 3 which is on the first law of thermodynamics. So first law of thermodynamics for systems. The first problem, a system undergoes a process from state 1 to state 2 where its pressure linearly changes from 1000 kilopascals to 200 kilopascals and volume increases from 0 0.05 meter cube to 0.2 meter cube. So during this process, a heat input of 65 kilojoules is given to the system. Then the system returns adiabatically from state 2 to state 1, determine the total work transfer. Okay, so this is the problem, solution. P1 is given as 1000 kilopascals, P2 is given as 200 kilopascals, V1 is given as 0 0.05 meter cube and the V2 is 0.2 meter cube and it is given that the pressure linearly increases. Okay, so we can write pressure as a plus B uh, into volume and uh, substituting uh, for these two pressures 1000 equal to A plus B into 0 0.05. This is one equation. Similarly, 200 equal to A plus B into 0 0.2. So, from this I can get value of A as 1266.67 kilopascals and the B equal to minus 5333.33 kilopascals per meter cube. So, this is the value. So, now we can integrate for the process 1 to 2 where the pressure increases linearly, the corresponding work input, work um, output can be written as integral 1 to 2 P d V which is equal to integral 1 to 2 sorry 1266.67 plus sorry minus 5333.33 into V dv. So, when you integrate this, we can get the work as 90 kilojoules for the process 1 to 2. Now, first law will apply q 1 to 2 minus w 1 to 2 equal to delta u equal to u 2 minus u 1. So, here we can find delta u 1 to 2 equal to q 1 to 2 is given as 65 kilojoules. So, 65 minus this work is 90. So, equal to minus 25 kilojoules delta 1 u to 2. Then for the process 2 to 1. Q 2 to 1 equal to 0 since adiabatic. So, process adiabatic. So, we can say minus W 2 to 1 equal to delta U 2 to 1 equal to U 2 minus U 1. Okay, but we know that delta U 2 to 1 equal to minus delta u 1 to 2 which is equal to minus of minus 25 kilojoules. So, delta u 2 to 1 equal to 25 kilojoules. That means, w 2 to 1 will be equal to minus delta u 2 to 1 equal to minus 
25 kilo joules. So, total work, total work, we can find total work easily by analyzing the heat input. See for the cycle, for the cycle, you know that cyclic integral of del Q will be equal to cyclic integral of del W. So, here the first process the heat is 65 kilojoules which is positive heat input to the system, second it is 0. So, the net Q will be equal to 65 kilojoules. So, we know that net W will also be equal to 65 kilojoules. Okay. Now, we can calculate by what you have already calculated. 90 minus 25 which is equal to 65 kilojoules. So, it is verifying that the first law of thermodynamics for a cycle okay, for a system undergone, undergoing a cyclic process is cycling of del Q equal to cycling of del W. So, that straight away gives the answer but anyway the illustrative procedure gives the same answer. The verification for the first law of the cycle. The second problem a certain quantity of a pure substance undergoes a cyclic process A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A as shown in the figure here in the PV diagram. Now, A, B and C, D this A, B and uh, C, D these are isothermal processes at this is isothermal process T equal to 600 Kelvin. This is an isothermal process where T equal to 300 Kelvin. Okay. Now, these are the two processes. Then BC is a constant volume process as it indicates BC is the constant volume process and uh, DA is an adiabatic process. So, DA is an adiabatic process. Okay. So, Q equal to 0 here. And uh, it was also told that uh, for the process D A, it obeys P V power 1.4 equal to constant. So, that is also given. The net work from the cycle is 50 kilo joules. Now, we need to calculate the work and heat interaction for each leg. Say, for example, A B, what is the work and heat interaction, etc. for each leg of the cycle. The pure substance obeys the equation of state given by P V equal to 289T, where P is in Pascals, V is in meter cube and T is in Kelvin. And the internal energy depends only on the temperature like an ideal gas. So, obviously, the pure substance is an ideal gas. So, say this is say T A equal to T B because at this when this is constant uh, temperature process temperature the t a and b will be same so t and t b will be 600 similarly t d and the t c will be 300 okay now we also have for the process uh, d a d to a we can write P D V D power 1.4 equal to P A V A power 1.4. That is the process which is given. And the uh, equation of state is also given. Okay, now let us do the calculations. First is we have to find the fix the states. So, for that we can say V D by V A will be equal to T A by T D power 1 by 0 0.4. Now, T A and T D values are known to me which is equal to 600 divided by 300 power 1 by 0 0.4 which implies we know 
v d by v a equal to 5.66. Next is you will try to find the work interaction in heat interaction for all the process. So, for a a to b a to b is a isothermal process. So, we can say that the work interaction for A to B will be equal to PA VA natural logarithm of VB by VA. Why? Because PV equal to constant for an isothermal process. This is ideal gas. So, you can, you can see that P V equal to 289 T. If T is constant, then P V also will be constant. So, that is the reason we are writing P V equal to constant. When you integrate this, uh, so we can say that P equal to constant by V. So, P A V A equal to P B V B. So, using that I can write the constant itself as P A V A into natural logarithm of V B by V A. So, that is the expression I am getting here. So, we know we do not know the uh, values here. So, let us keep this equation. Now, similarly for B to C delta V equal to 0. So, W B to C will be equal to 0 because the constant volume. So, there is no uh, change in the volume. So, integral P D V will be equal to 0. Now, W C to D. C to D again is a yeah, isothermal process. So, you can same thing you can write P C V C natural logarithm of V D by V C. So, that is the expression. Now, here I can further write this in terms of temperature as 289 289 Ta because Pa Va equal to 289 Ta so that you can write into natural logarithm of V B by V A. Similarly, here also I can write 289 T C P V P V in the state C is equal to 289 to T C natural logarithm of V D by V C. That is it. Okay. Now, finally, we have W D A. W D A will be equal to adiabatic process. So, I can say P D V D minus P A V A divided by 1.4 minus 1 because it obeys P V power 1.4 equal to constant. So, that when you integrate for that work, you will get this expression. So, in terms of temperature, you can write this, you can write this as 289 Td minus Ta divided by 0.4. So, now you know the answer for this because it is equal to 216.75 kilo joules. This is, this you know because T D value you know T D and C are 300 Kelvin and T A is 600. So, we know this answer. This is negative adiabatic compression. Adiabatic compression. So, the work involved in the adiabatic compression is negative. So, these are the values you get. But you have to fix the systems. So, let us do that now. So, what we will do next is it is given in the problem that the work network from the cycle network from the cycle equal to 50 kilo joules that is a positive work is delivered by the cycle. So, that we can say as W A B plus W B C plus W C D plus W 
d a equal to 50. Now, we know that for the b c the constant volume process w b c is 0. So, this is 0. Now, we know the value of w d a. w d a is minus 216.75. So, this is minus 216.75. So, we can say that Minor, uh, we can say this is basically in kilojoules in kilojoules so everything we will write in kilojoules now this we can write as 0 0.289 i am just dividing by 1000 into 600 into natural logarithm of v b divided by v a plus c w c d is again 0 0.289 into 300 into natural logarithm of V D by V A V C. Okay. We are written you no know, V D by V C here. V D by V C. Now we have to so this will be equal to this you take it other side. So 50 plus 216.75. This is in kilojoules. So now we will see that. What is Vc? What is Vc? Vc is equal to Vb that you can substitute. So, this Vd by Vc equal to Vd by Vb because Vc equal to Vb. Okay, now this can further be written as Vd by Va into v a by v b do you understand so this is what we can write so now i can write this totally now now w d a is known so here this expression now becomes 0 0.289 into 300 into logarithm of v b by v a square into v b by v a into v a by v b. This is equal to 200 66 just adding these two 0.75 so now because you can see that uh, in this case 300 is taken here instead of 600 I have to put 300 so the square has come come to the vb by va so the vb by va square appears because I have now taken only 300 outside this bracket so this square term appears and this is same whatever I have done this is actually vd so this is vd by va into V A by V B. Okay, so that is the expression I have here. Do you understand? So this square term appears because out of, out of six hundred, I have just taken three hundred. So I can write three hundred into two ln. The two ln, either this two are brought up to the square of this. So V B by V A square into here V D by V C is written as V D by V B. That is again written as V D by V A into V A by V B. So that term I have written like this. Okay, so now this term alone can be now evaluated because these are all known values. So I can write natural logarithm of V D by V A into now one of this gets cancelled. So that into this I will have V B by V A that is it correct. So that will be equal to 266.75 divided by 0 0.289 into this I am taking out the other side 300 so which is equal to 3.077 that is it do you understand so now I can find V B by V A so now what is this V D by V A V D by V A V B by V A both we can easily understand so we get 
वी बी बाई वी एक्वल टू थ्री पॉइंट एट थ्री सो फ्रॉम दैट आई कैन फाइंड डब्ल्यू ए बी इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड थर्टी टू पॉइंट नाइन टू किलो जूल्स सिमिलरली डब्ल्यू सी डी इक्वल टू थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट एट एट किलो जूल्स सो ऑल द वर्क हेज बिन डन नाउ ही ट्रांसफर QAB, QAB equal to WAB plus delta UAB, but this is zero because delta TAB equal to zero. I saw the normal process. So this is known. Q. Equal to two hundred and thirty-two point nine two kilojoules. Now Q C D equal to W C D because again this is an isothermal process. So this is equal to sorry here this will be equal to W C D is thirty-three point eight eight. Kilo joules. Now, Q D A equal to zero because adiabatic process. Now, finally, Q B C can be calculated as minus of Q A B plus Q C D plus Q D A. Okay. Plus W net because sigma Q will be equal to sigma W. The first law of the cycle is applied here, so we will get this equal to 200 minus 216.75 kilo joules. So this is the problem. So you can see that it is a cycle constituted by four processes. Two of them are isothermal, A, B, and uh, C, D are isothermal. One is a constant volume process. One is an adiabatic process obeying P equal one point four equal to constant. So you have to fix the state. Understand that the gas obeys P B equal to two eighty nine three T, and uh, the network is given as fifty kilojoules on the cycle. So network is work from each process added together. Similarly, finally we apply the first law for the cycle. Sigma Q equal to sigma W, and we get the answer. Okay, so this is the problem number two. Now problem number three, you have a piston cylinder device which is restrained by a linear spring. It contains two kg of air at initially at a pressure of one fifty kilo pascals and temperature of twenty seven degrees centigrade. It is now heated until its volume doubles and temperature increases to five twenty seven degrees centigrade. Determine the work done. Heat interactions during the process. Air obeys P V equal to two eighty seven T, where P is in Pascal, T is in Kelvin, V is in meter cube per kg, and uh, the C V for the air is given as seven one seven joule per kg Kelvin. So we will see the solution for this. Mass equal to two kgs. Similarly, P one equal to one hundred and fifty kilo pascals. T one equal to twenty seven degree centigrade. And uh, T two equal to five twenty seven degree centigrade. And also given V two equal to two times V one. So, since P V equal to two hundred eighty seven T, I can write this as P. Capital V equal to m into two eighty seven into t. So that means I can find the volume one. So V one will be equal to two into two hundred eighty seven into two seventy three plus twenty seven. Please understand that the temperature is in Kelvin in this equation. So you have to add to the degree centigrade two seventy three divided by the pressure. Pressure is one fifty. So one fifty into ten power three. So that will be the volume, which is equal to one point one four eight meter cube. So 
so this implies v2 will be equal to 2.296 meter cube because v2 is 2 times v1 so it is a linear spring which is compressing this so that means pressure linear spring causes pressure to vary linearly as it is compressed okay so that means i can say p equal to a plus bv now before that i can find p2 because state 2 is known so p2 will be equal to what p2 will be equal to 2 into 287 into t2 t2 will be 527 plus 273 divided by volume volume is 2.296 that will be equal to 200,000 pascals or 200 kilo pascals. So that will be the pressure. So now this pressure from 150 to 200 linearly varies. So I can assume P as a function of volume given as P equal to A plus B V. Now I know V1, V2, P1, P2. I can find A and B. okay using p1 v1 and p2 v2 we can find a comma b as a equal to 100 kilo pascals and b equal to 43.554 kilo pascals per meter cube so this is one way to do this so now when i do this then work interaction is integral pdv which is equal to 100 into 2.296 minus 1.148 plus 43.554 into 2.296 square by 2 minus 1. 148 square by 2 so that will be equal to 200.9 kilo joules now delta so t1 t2 is known so delta u will be equal to m cv delta t which is equal to 2 into 717 into 527 minus 27 which is equal to 717 Joules or seven seventeen kilo joules. Now applying first law, Q equal to delta U plus W, which is equal to seven one seven plus two hundred point nine, which is equal to nine seventeen point nine kilo joules. So this is the solution for this. So we can also do. because see you can uh, see that uh, now atmospheric pressure is 100 p atm equal to 100 kilo pascals so those, those information if they are given mass of the piston if it is mp if the information is given then we can find the spring constant and do this problem also okay so in this case since pressure the states are fixed by temperature itself straight away and pressure uh, causes basically the volume to double the pressure uh, increase causes volume to double in this case so we can see that this is a simple approach